Mike Strug reports that the boss apparently can't imagine guitars without Phil Patillo. Bruce Springsteen plays an old-fashioned Fender guitar, the kind you'd probably have to pick up in a pawn shop today if you were lucky. But the boss found it here in Asbury Park back in 1969. A local guitar maker sold it to him for 150 bucks. Bruce went on to travel the world, making music and millions with that old guitar. But still, if it needs some work, he brings it back here to the basement workshop of that same guitar maker, Phil Patillo. I think Bruce mainly comes here because Philip gives him quality workmanship and in his field, Phil is very respected and is well known as Bruce to guitar players as Bruce is known to the rock audiences of the world. If that simply sounds like a wife blinded by love, consider her husband's list of other clients. Rick Springfield, James Taylor, Graham Parker and others. And while Elvis Presley and his band got their instruments for free, when they needed repairs, they too turned to Phil. And he left his mark on them, just as he has on Springsteen's old Fender Esquire. The guitar that he has now, the old Fender Esquire, is not an original guitar. It has a special neck and fingerboard that I have a patent on. It has my patented frets, uh, the pickups. Patented frets, patented fingerboard. In all, Phil holds eight patents related to guitars, plus four for medical instruments. You see, this Renaissance man hidden away in Westfield, New Jersey, outside Asbury Park, is more than just a craftsman, more than just an artist. By training, he's an industrial engineer. By choice, he's a throwback. To a time when taking anywhere from a month to a year to build a single instrument was the rule, not the exception. Our society is kind of a, uh, a now society. You know, you want love, get close to toothpaste. You got a pain, get extra strength Tylenol. Well, that doesn't work here. Uh, we can't squeeze a whole bunch of blocks of wood into a mold and squash it and have a guitar pop out. No assembly line here. No assembly line prices either. Figure a minimum of $1,000 as much as 12000 There's little question. When it comes to guitars, Bill Patillo's the boss. I'm Mike Strug, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. We just sit around.